Hey guys and welcome back to another video here on the Sean the Sheepman channel. So today we're going to be following me and Stacey's IVF journey and updating you guys on some of the things that have happened here at home. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. Roll the intro. Okay guys, so that's now quarter to eight in the morning. So me and Stacey are going to be heading to the hospital just in a couple of moments. So that's us made it to the hospital and it's about 10 minutes till our appointment. So we're just making our way up to the fertility clinic now. What we're doing here today guys is we've been to all the preliminary appointments for IVF. So we're actually going to start IVF treatment here today. I can see birds flying you Guys, that's us leaving the hospital now, that's us just had our appointment It lasted about an hour and 15 minutes uh, We both got blood taken, Stacey got her blood pressure taken as well And her weight, and then we were also given the injections that Stacey has to take for the next 7 days And shown how to use them so these are the injections that I'm going to have to do for the next seven days, was it seven or eight, I can't remember. Um, but there's about five days worth in here, then a couple more days in here, and four days in, I have to start taking these in the morning as well. These are injections too, um, and they give us a instruction manual. <laughs> on how to do it as well and a little needle band needles I can see the sunrise. so since we're already in the city we're going to get a starbucks before we head back home so last time we did a vlog about the ivf journey it left a lot of questions for people so just to fill people in with a bit of the background information so about six years ago in the February, Stacy fell pregnant and it wasn't planned or anything like that. And at first we were a bit apprehensive just because we were so young at the time. And then we got used to the idea and then we started getting excited uh, about the possibility of having a child and it miscarried. And me and Stacy have been trying to have children since then, since about six years ago. And not much has happened except for one other miscarriage uh, and that was roughly about the same time Echo was born, so just over two years ago now. After about the third year of trying, we started with the assisted conception unit. We did some tests there and their recommendations was to move us straight onto the waiting list for IVF. And also a few other things people might like to know. Uh, we are getting IVF on the NHS which is the National Health Service here in Scotland so basically it's free for us because it is a medical necessity for us to have children uh, through IVF and we can't have it through it any other way you can go private and it would be much quicker through the NHS you have to wait your turn uh, I mean we've been on the waiting list now for over a year possibly getting close to two years NHS they will only give you treatments if they are a necessity you can't just ask to have IVF you must have exhausted all the other options first uh, the National Health Service here is basically a tax funded health service so everybody in the UK even visitors to the UK will get free health care as long as it is a necessity that's quite good for us because uh, IVF is quite an ex expensive treatment and we wouldn't be able to afford it ourselves or at least we would have to save a long time to be able to afford it uh, whereas on the NHS they will provide that service because it is a necessity to us. 
So guys, that's us back home and because we had to travel this morning and our appointment was quite early, I never got a chance to go out and do my stock check this morning. So I'm gonna go do my stock check now and then uh, we'll come back and I'll catch you guys up on what's been happening here at home. Let's talk about some of the things that have been happening here at home. First thing you might notice, in the past, if you've been watching for a long while, I haven't been the best of gardeners. This year, I have made a pretty decent effort. So, the grass is nice and cut. I've planted some flowers along the front. I've made a little bench out of a pallet there. And our neighbors who are renting the next door property actually moved out. And they uh, are moving into the city where they have a smaller garden. And they had, I'm just lifting this back up. They had a lot of potted trees and plants uh, and they couldn't take them all with them. So we got quite a few trees from them, which was quite nice. And then up here, these were in the garden last year, but uh, you couldn't see them for the long grass. These were trees that were rescued from a skip. Then last weekend, this was built. So we've got a dividing fence between the front and the back now. Uh, and that's basically just for the dogs because it's quite a, a busy little road out there that, at the front. And I'm always a bit worried about the dogs jumping through the hedge and maybe getting hit by a car. So when it's busy out, they can be around the back and makes me feel a bit happier about their safety. And we have this now as well. So this is satellite internet. Before that, we had regular landline internet, but it just doesn't work well out here at all. It was always dropping out and things. And Stacy works from home and relies on a good internet signal. So uh, we got satellite internet and it works a lot better. And round the back, at the back of the house here, gone is that big old plastic woodshed and all the tools that were just scattered around here. We built this storage for the tools and then I built this little seating area and that was just made out of some old pallets that we had lying around. So that's pretty much all the exciting news we have. So later on, we'll show you Stacy taking her first jags and she'll take those jags for uh, four days and then it will be up to two jags a day. And uh, in seven days time, we'll go back to the hospital. <laughs> So guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please remember, hit that like button, leave us a comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. That'll do.